so we're here in Monterey. We made it in last night uh, after dark. Uh, so what happened on the way in? Well, the sun went down, and then all of a sudden, we heard a thud. Yeah. It, uh, we think it was, um, like, we've been dodging crab buoys all day, and we actually got in a lot deeper water, and so there weren't any, and then it got dark, and we didn't see it, and we, I think it was a crab buoy, a yeah. crab pot buoy. And uh, so we heard a loud thunk, and, like, the RPMs would kind of vary at that point. Normally, they're rock solid. It would kind of vary, and uh, it, we lost a little bit of speed, and so we just slowed down and to almost stop, and then put it in reverse just to see what was going on there, and... Yeah, it made a really bad. That did not sound good. It yeah, didn't make a bad sound. So, uh, so we think the props fouled, um, but you know the water's cold here, and so we called around a bunch of divers. Everybody's gone for Thanksgiving. Yep, we were very proactive, but nobody wants work. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're gonna go to the local dive shop, and I'm gonna get a wetsuit. Yep. Going in. All right. Then it's paper, rock, scissors. See who goes under. <laughs> you want to go in? Well, there's a ton of jellyfish in here. Are you sure you want to do that? No. No, all you. All right, so now we're headed to the dive shop. Our friend Alex, he has a car here, so we're gonna go take it because I'm getting a wetsuit. The dive shop had a really good selection, but it wasn't quite what we were looking for. So we decided because it's a, uh, you know, they only have cold water suits here to buy. They have a pretty good deal on them, but. Um, we're headed south where it's warm water, so we don't want to buy a cold water suit. So we're just going to rent one. It's like 35 bucks to rent one. So there we go. There it is. It's a little faster. One boot down, one boot down. It's going to do a spin. How much do you love my haircut now? Yeah. I don't know how to zip this thing up now. I'll need help zipping it up. But. You're asking for the reach around? Yeah, give me a reach around. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it'll be fine. This will be fine. <laughs> oh, look at all that cleavage. Oh, yeah. Nothing <laughs> inappropriate about it. Thank you. <laughs> now I gotta get some. Oh. Oh. Haircut. All right. So while, while we're here, I'm going to go drool on these amazing underwater cameras. I'm sure are way too expensive for me to afford. Some of these camera housings cost as much as all my camera gear combined. This is Rusty with Backscatter underwater camera stuff. Hello. It's a pretty neat shop. You got some nice equipment in here. Thanks. Yeah, we're one of the largest underwater photography stores in the world. Okay. Well, we'll link to your website uh, in the show notes. But uh, we, I was looking here at camera cases. Though some of them are a little out of my price range, but. Y'all have a system here that y'all made specifically yeah, for the GoPro? so great alternative for GoPro. We've got a whole complete filter system for GoPro. Uh, when you flip it in, the filter gets flipped in and gets rid of any bubbles that might get trapped on the front. We've got depth specific filters, so dive filter 20 to 50 feet. When you go deeper than 50 feet, you can flip in the deep filter. We've also got a little macro lens set up. So it's been optimized for GoPro optics. That lets you capture really small critters. Mm -hmm. Pretty much what you were just seeing there. You really need to use a tripod if you're gonna do that. It's got a minimum focus, focus distance of about three to four inches. Okay. So you gotta be really close. Whenever you're shooting macro, you're gonna need video lights. Right. Um, so one or two lights. But the macro lens is a game changer for GoPro because it's such a wide field of view. This lets you capture really tiny little right. critters, like golf ball size and small. Right, right, yeah. And, and so you, and you need different filter. colors for different, like here you said it's green water, but we're heading to the, you know, like in the Caribbean is blue water and, and all that. Yeah, so typically magenta filters are green water. Okay. And we've just got the one. There's no depth specific rating, but okay. on the blue water filters, we've got a shallow water filter for snorkeling, and then a dive filter for 20 to 50 feet, and then a deep filter for deeper than 50. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be diving. Well, not diving. We're cleaning the. We we fouled our prop the other day, so we're gonna dive. I mean, I just got some stuff today. We're gonna go and cut the, the line out there. So we'll use your. Uh, we're buying a. What do you call this? A rack? A uh, dual handle tray. Dual handle tray. Yep. Just helps you hold it a little steadier. Yeah, be steady. You know how important it is to be steady yeah, yeah. watching videos. For sure. Like an earthquake's happening. Cool. All right, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Yep. All right, so Bobby lost paper, rock, scissors, so he's going in. <laughs> so he's not diving certified, so he's going to have to do this all by snorkel. So we got a mask and snorkel. Got him some little booties, 
some gloves. Got some weights because we're in salt water. And this will also kind of help them float. This is pretty heavy duty. Pretty. Got some flippers. I'm looking forward to it. He's excited. I bet this, but look at these, there's like a, I mean, there's a jellyfish right behind our boat right now. Yeah. They're these videos don't do it justice. The harbor was absolutely full of jellyfish. So then it was time to get suited up and get in the water. <laughs> I think Bobby has an issue with claustrophobia. It is a little claustrophobic in this thing, I gotta say. Uh, but. You're shaking? Are you scared? No. <laughs> Yay! Well, he also got a new gadget. A yeah, new dive camera. Cool. So, we're taking you down under as well. It's pretty murky yeah. here though. I don't know how much we'll be able to see. Uh, so. Very true. You look nice in your suit. Thank you. Know, I appreciate that. It's hot in this thing though. Jaws theme. Are you scared? No. No. I'm not scared. All right. Uh, Here we go. Let's follow him in. There's a screwdriver too. I'm gonna swim over and uh, I'll get try it. to poke your hole. <laughs> Snake it out. Wait, e what was that? You're gonna try and poke the hole, Bobby? Kids. Yeah. I'm gonna try to poke because yeah. Check well, for particles. <laughs> B. Morgan said, "Gonna need a bigger boat." That's a line from Jaws. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, <laughs> Laura, welcome to Monterey. Hey, Hello. thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, fan just walked by. Yeah. We're on live chat. Hey, come see us tonight. We're doing a meet and greet at 7 at uh, London Bridge. All right, see ya. Yay! We lost about a knot of speed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> Make that noise again. <laughs> So as soon as I got in the water, it was easy to see right away that our prop was fouled. Fortunately, it wasn't too bad at all. I didn't even have to cut it loose. I just unwound it. And the new filters I got for the GoPro were really cool. I just wish I could afford one of those camera housings for some even better shots. Noah is 51.8 degrees. Did you find it? Are you clear already? <laughs> no. Be aware of horny seals. You did it! <gasps> is that all that was? Is there any more on Yay, there? let's see. That's it. Bobby, ready for an ice cold beer? Yeah. Woo! That yeah, a boy. Maybe a hot toddy. Yeah. How's that wetsuit feeling? I mean, it was cold once when the water first went in, but after that, you know, it was okay. It warmed up. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Check us out every Monday for Maintenance Mondays. We normally release our full-length episodes on Thursdays, and we'll have one or two live chats a week. So be sure and hit subscribe and like.